I recently participated in the Sephora Rouge 20% off sale and it's like the happiest I've ever been with my purchases so I was like you know what this is giving me motivation and encouragement to film finally wow even just sitting here is really weird and it's making me really nervous oh I feel like I'm shaking I need water it's crazy how hard this is but maybe once I start talking about all these awesome products I got I'll get more comfortable so can we just get started okay let's do that so my favorite purchase of this entire haul is the Indie Lee Brightening Cleanser. It has a gel-like consistency. It's very gentle. Another direction that it mentions is that you can leave the cleanser on your face for 10 minutes as an exfoliant, which I've never heard of a cleanser that is so versatile like that. Oh, look at your saliva is hanging. Really? At the bottom. Really? At the bottom. <laughs> I use this every morning and it smells amazing. It's very invigorating. It smells like, I wanna say fresh apples or something. I honestly can't get over the amazing scent and the way it makes my face feel. If you're looking for a cleanser, try this one. I didn't know what a cleanser could feel like until I tried this. The ingredient list is very short, which makes me happy but sad because why is it so expensive? Next product is the Biosense Squalene and Mineral SPF 45. It's a facial sunscreen lotion. It spreads pretty easily. No matter how much I blend it into my skin, it does give me a white cast. I would say they're reflective particles added into the sky so don't be surprised if you try it and your face looks a little bit sparkly. I'll also show you what it looks like on a deeper skin tone. I use too much. This is a no-go with brown skin. I'm just gonna keep blending, give it a chance. And you can kind of see the difference between application and an area that wasn't applied. So what I actually have to do is mix it with my next purchase that I made from Drunk Elephant De-Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. It's basically a liquid bronzer. I would typically avoid products like this because I'm scared it would make me look orange, but surprisingly, I can't stop using it. I don't use it alone or anything. This product you would use to mix with other things like your moisturizer, your sunscreen like I do, and you can use it on your chest area, your shoulder, your face, your ears, I don't know, uh, your legs maybe. You can use it anywhere. I'll also show you what this bronzer looks like on deeper skin tone. I think it looks beautiful, adds a gorgeous shine, a healthy glow. I want you to You see that sheen? I actually use these three products every morning as a base before my foundation. So I use the SPF 45 mixed with the liquid bronzer and this moisturizer from Peter Thomas Roth. Mix it all together and apply it on my face as kind of a base for foundation and that kind of allows my skin to be moisturized, be protected and add a little bit of bronzing so things look a little bit more even. Maybe for some people that's too much but honestly I think it saves me time. I use actually less foundation ever since I started doing this mixture. Wow, I put a lot of stuff on my face. The next products I purchased were concealers. I was curious into trying the new Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer by First Aid Beauty. I have it in the shade 1 or Bone. It goes on very smoothly, very light in texture and comfortable. 
I really just apply a tiny bit to under my eyes. The Hello Fab shears out a little more. And then if you just want something light, easy peasy, very forgiving, it's not full coverage, uh, go with the Hello Fab concealer. The next concealer I got was the Josie Marin Vibrancy Argan Oil Full Coverage Concealer Fluid. And I have it in the shade Fair. So the Josie Marin concealer is a lot more thick than the First Aid Beauty concealer. Both blend super easily. Josie Marin's is a lot more pigmented and opaque, shows up better. The Josie Marin stays and keeps its pigmentation. So if you want a fuller coverage concealer and you were kind of debating between these two, maybe Josie Marin would be better for you don't apply a lot under there. I learned that less is more and the less you put on, the less cakey things will look under here, especially with age, very thing gets wrinkly. They're both very moisturizing concealers. Hello Fab, it's maybe more lightweight. I do really enjoy both and I just kind of go back and forth every day between the two because they're both great. My next cleanser I got was the Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser with, how in the world do you say this? Echinacea, Echinacea, Echinacea. Oh, I just love this. This also smells amazing, like honey. It has a oily gel consistency. It just smells so like relaxing too. I love using this at night. I've noticed a significant difference in my skin actually by just changing my cleanser routine. I think it just melts away all my makeup. It's very hydrating and it feels like I applied an oil on my face and rinsed it off or something. It keeps my skin so soft. I love it. Next I have the Youth to the People Superfood Peptide Eye Cream. It's a very lightweight texture. Almost feels whipped. It's not oily. It's not greasy. Very smoothing too. It almost feels like a primer. I'm not like too crazy about this eye cream. Actually, I've never been crazy about any eye cream. I don't really know what else to say because it's just an eye cream. It just goes right now. But I mean, the ingredients sound nice, right? Kale and aloe, sunflower oil, tripeptide 5. Like, it's nice. Next, going back to ND Lee, I have their lotion CoQ10. It comes in a spray bottle. I literally just spray it on my face. Just some, uh, ch -ch -ch, you know? I think it makes my skin softer, but there's no way for me to like measure that so you'll just have to believe me i hold my breath when i spray this because i don't like it, it smells way too strong why does it have to smell so strong i just tell myself that it's all goodness so i keep using it and i deal with the scent my next favorite purchase is the youth to the people adaptogen deep moisture cream it has ash oh gosh Ashwagandha Reishi Peptide. The texture is so light, so creamy, yet so, so, so moisturizing. I think I can tell the difference when I use this and when I don't use it. I am a believer in this moisturizer. And if you're interested, it's 100% vegan ingredients, cold press, extracts made in the USA. It also comes with a uh, pretty cheaply made spatula, but it's better than no spatula. If you're looking to get a moisturizer for the winter, fall, look into this. Just get it. This is nice. Next products are blushes from Hourglass. It's their ambient lighting blush. I have it in Incandescent Electra, basically a repurchase for me. It's a very gorgeous like peach coral shade that I can't get enough of. I'll also show you what these blushes look like on deeper skin tones. It doesn't really show up.
and I also have this blush in Diffused Heat. Hourglass blushes is like the only blush that I use. There's nothing that compares yet at least. I love the marble effect. I think it's beautiful. I like looking at it every morning and so I keep buying it. They both have a very nice sheen to them. If you're debating whether or not to get a blush from Hourglass, consider this. This lasted me years. I used it every day. I'm not even kidding. This is my favorite blush. And yeah, I shouldn't be using makeup that old, but did I die? Last couple of things I wanted to mention are just some facial cotton. The Sephora brand Soft Touch cotton pads, which are really, really soft. I was surprised. The next one is the Shiseido Facial Cotton, which is so soft. The shape is square. I like to use the Shiseido Facial Cotton um, to apply toner if I have toner. Not the spray one I just showed you, but you know, a toner that I can kind of, you know, you know, you know, you know. The last product I'm trying is the Andy Lee Clearing Mask. This is probably the most gentle clearing mask that I've ever tried. My skin just feels so soft, so clean. It's very gentle. It doesn't strip away from your skin. So far, I'm happy with it. I just leave it on my face. It says for 20 minutes, but I usually leave it on for a lot longer because it feels so nice. It doesn't dry out your skin. After you wash it off, your skin will feel so, so soft, so clean, and almost like plump. The mask is really expensive, which is why I debated on getting it, but because I loved the cleanser, that's how they got me. I bought the cleanser, I loved it, so I made me want to try everything else. That is it for my haul video, but it is hard to get back into the groove of things, especially knowing that people are watching you. It's kind of like nerve-wracking, but I just tell myself to kind of have fun with it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and maybe I should stop being so lazy and so scared. I don't really know how did I used to end my videos I think I used to say kind of like if you have any questions leave it in the description box and if not I'll see you guys next time bye